The art of spoon jewelry dates back to England of the 18th century, the Downton Abbey era. During that time, it was known that servants who worked in the mansions of the landed gentry and unable to afford jewelry of any kind, occasionally pilfered the silver spoons from the place settings to fashion wedding rings and other pieces. The art form became popular again in America during the hippie era. Spoon jewelry is now enjoying a resurgence as the ultimate and upcycled, repurposed green jewelry. My name is Diane. My passion is vintage and antique silver. I love the history of each piece, the exquisite patterns and patina. My inspiration is the vintage and antique silversmith patterns from as far back as the 1800s. Each piece is handcrafted from antique and collectible silver-plated flatware. There is a definite feel to these spoons and forks that make them a pleasure to use and work with, as well as a feel of history from the patina left by many hands and daily use. You will see and feel the quality when you wear them. I start with silver plate or sterling pieces I find at antique markets and estate sales. Often they are badly tarnished from age. The process involves several tools, cutters, benders, polishing compounds. It is possible to work in a production line method that can turn out more product in a shorter time, but it is spirit numbing. So I tend to work each piece through each step to finish and feel the satisfaction of completing it beginning to end. I love to improvise and I hate to buy new when something used will do, so some of my tools I have modified for a specific job. resulting in a wearable piece of history and art with its own unique pattern and story of origin. Each spoon bracelet is fastened with a strong clasp and sterling silver connector. You can now purchase an exquisite piece of wearable history from a wide selection of patterns on my Etsy website. The Downton Abbey area is over, but you can still experience a little of the romance and quality. Let me fashion a piece for you so you can Thank you.